Hello class, this is a demonstration of the genius game that will be your assignment for the arrays unit of our course. Here's how the game works. You'll start the game running. and You'll be asked how many letters uh, are to be in the secret code. So I'm going to say there are four letters. Now, the program randomly generates four characters of R, G, or B, and those are the secret code, and that's the order that they're in. Now, the way this happened to run, it generated four Gs. Now, I get a demonstration, or I get a portrayal on the screen of the number of spaces uh, for the secret code that I have to guess, and I'll get the number of correct and number of incorrect guesses that were in that guess. So I'm now going to go ahead and guess four letters. So it tells me that there is one letter that is in the correct position and three that are not correct. So I'll try another one. Now it's still for one correct, so I'll try two of them. Now it says there are two correct and two incorrect. Now I'll do the correct answer. And now it shows me I got four correct, zero incorrect, it told me it took me four tries to win the game, and do I want to play again? So I'll say yes. Now I'll say how many letters I want. This time I'll just do three. So now it's showing me there are three spaces, and it's showing me what the correct sequence is. This is for me for marking your programs. I want to know what the correct answer is. So I'll try. So that tells you I've got two correct and one correct. I'll try the correct sequence now and I won it in two rounds. So this program requires two arrays, and the arrays are created of a size based on how many letters you asked. So this is an integer that you will ask for, and that integer will be, that integer variable will be the variable when you declare your two arrays. One array is the secret code array, in this case would be of size three, and the other array would be your guess array, which is also of size three. One thing you're want to, going to want to do in this assignment is have a method that calculates how many answer, how many of the letters guessed were correct. The method will be called something along the lines of update board, and it takes three arrays and an integer as parameters. So it's going to take the guess board, which is what the user's board is, the board, which is just the secret uh, code array. And then this is the number of letters that are in the guess. So in this case, those were three. You will pass that to your method called update board, and it will then analyze character by character the two arrays to see how many correct and incorrect there are, and it will return the number of correct answers. You will then display the number of, you'll display what the user's guess was, and I'd suggest you want to use a printf command to format your printing. It'll show how many were correct and how many were incorrect. And that number there is a simple little calculation you can do. So if I scroll down a bit, you'll see what the method declaration looks like. There's my method name. I'm accepting this character array called array in, another character array called answer, which is the secret uh, code array and then the number of letters and I'm going to use that information in my method to figure out which letters were correct, how many were correct, and then I'm going to return that correct number back to the uh, calling line in main as an int. So if you look at the assignment you'll get details on how, how to, uh, what's expected for this assignment and you can go ahead and do this assignment. You will see a specification that when you're comparing the letters in the two arrays, you are not to use char at. So you are not to use two strings and use char at. I want you using position by position, index by index comparisons of the letters in their respective positions in the two arrays. You will not get marks. In fact, you will lose marks if you use the char at in that comparison. Using char at to get your letter Y or N for your play again, that's absolutely fine but char at is not to be used for comparing the letters in the two arrays to find the matches. Okay, please check the assignment. 
any questions, post them to the Google Classroom screen or email me directly. Thank you.